Hi guys, welcome back to A Better Biomed. Today I'm going to do an impromptu video on how to use a regulated DC power supply for troubleshooting. Now, a little bit of backstory on this situation. Uh, this is a keyboard video and mouse extender. This is the receiver side and it goes in a telemetry closet. And what was happening is there would be smoke that would billow out of these units and this would be the fourth or fifth unit in the last four months to go bad. So I tore it apart and found that the little power supply here has got a couple resistors that seem to have caught fire. That's the failure. Now the way to troubleshoot this is either the power supply is what's going bad or the unit itself is drawing too much current from the power supply maybe because of bad electrical engineering or maybe because a component is shorted on the main unit somehow and that's causing the power supply to work too hard. But either way, uh, it doesn't really matter because uh, we're going to troubleshoot them using the regulated DC power supply as a fail safe. What we have here is the original power supply. You have the AC that comes in on this side and you have 5 volts, 2.6 amps as your output. So that's your rating. And to troubleshoot this, what we're going to do is set up our DC power supply for 5 volts. And what we're going to do is we're going to clip the two ends together. And I'm going to set the current at 2.6 amps. 2.6, 2.62. There's a short in the main unit. When I connect these to the leads, it'll go into a current limiting and that will protect this unit from catching on fire, it'll protect me and that will prove that this guy is being worked too hard. Now I'm going to set the voltage at 5 volts. We have the current set at 2.6 amps and now I've already determined that this lead here is the negative, this lead here is the positive and I'm going to go ahead and connect those now. Make sure you keep these separate and we have 5.2 volts we are only pulling 1.07 amps and as you can see here from the LED indicators the unit is on and now I'm just gonna flip through a couple of different functions make sure that there's no current jumps and the next step is to sit here and let this unit warm up because sometimes components will get hot from use and they'll start drawing more and more current until uh, exponentially they fail so I've already let this unit warm up prior to starting recording and it maxed out at 1.1 amps. So 1.1 amps, this guy here is rated at 2.6 amps. So that should be plenty. It's It can operate like that all day. The main failure is probably going to be the power supply anyway because power supplies are just a generic part. They're mass produced these things are always the component that's going to fail in an electronic device. And I took a look at the transformer, the caps, they all look fantastic. I also took a look at the rectifying diodes, they look absolutely fine, they're down in there. The only thing I can see are these two little resistors right here, and I don't really know what they do. One of the big tell-alls for this situation is going to be that you can see some of the resistors are put on kind of sloppily. They're just kind of thrown wishy-washy however they want. They're not really square. That tells me that the robot was pretty quick when it placed components on there. You can see some of the other components are at an angle which tells me that you know they're just kind of thrown in there real quick. So the even though this is considered a medical grade power supply this is almost certainly the issue is manufacturing maybe cheap components. No power spikes, in other words your mauve right there would be exploded. Can't see any other issues. Your thermistor looks fine. It's just those two little resistors. This proves that, that the unit itself is fine. I'm still only drawing 1.06 amps at 5 volts, which is its rated current. I just contact the manufacturer and see what's going on with these power supplies because they're garbage. This would be the fourth or fifth unit in four months that has gone bad. I've already checked the electrical up in that room. It's sitting at almost a perfect 118 volts and it's very steady. I've checked it with an oscilloscope to see if there's a lot of uh, 
artifact in the electrical? There's not. And, and these type of power supplies aren't really sensitive to artifact anyway. They're just kind of stupid. AC in, rectified, you know, goes to a chopper, high frequency, and then uh, it gets rectified again. So that's it. Still only pulling one amp, 5.2 volts. And if you were to have a problem and there is a short in the main unit, it would do this. It caps out at the 2.6 amps, which is what the rating is on the power supply and it saves the master unit from failure. So you can see it just kills the power when it goes to a high current and everything is saved. That's one way to use a DC regulated power supply to help you troubleshoot. You can use this also for motors, for solenoids, or testing units like this when you're having constant power supply failures. Alright guys, thanks for watching.